Hey guys, so recently Dell has done something awesome. With the latest 1.9.0 BIOS update for the 2018 Dell G series laptops, they have added thermal management options through the Dell Power Manager. These features were already available on the Dell XPS 15 and have now made their way down to the budget segment of their lineup. A very welcome addition. In this video, I will explain what each feature does and how you can get your laptop working best for your specific need. So, the first thing we'll do is open up Dell Power Manager. So let's do that right now. Oh, and um, just as a disclaimer, uh, while I'll be running the Cinebench tests, I won't be giving you the results using the screen grab because the screen grabbing software is actually using a few of the resources. So with the thermal management tab, we can now see that we have four different settings. There's optimized, which gives you just a standard setting based on your usage and the kind of software you're running. There's a cool profile that tries to keep the surface of the laptop as cool as possible without um, unnecessary overheating. Then there's quiet, which instead of prioritizing the surface temperatures, it actually tries to reduce the fan noise as much as possible. Um, and then finally, we'll have the ultra performance, which now is a no holds barred, everything to the max um, setting that ramps up the fans to maximum and power usage to maximum. So, to demonstrate the effects of these power profiles, we'll use Cinebench. So, let's open that up right now. We'll also make use of the Intel Power Gadget to keep tabs on the clock speed and the temperatures of the CPU as well as the power usage of the CPU. So let's put that to one side right now. And then um, with the optimized setting, we'll run the Cinebench test. Now, as we can see, the clock speeds are at about 3.9 gigahertz and the power usage is at about 63 watts, which is more or less reaching the limit for the i7-8750. It runs up to a temperature of about 98 degrees Celsius before finally throttling down to about 3.2 gigahertz and 80 degrees. On the CPU. The next profile we'll test is the cool profile. So the cool profile, as I said earlier, will try and keep the surface temperatures to a minimum, which means that it will dynamically change the clock speed based on how hot the CPU is getting. So in this case, we can see we start off with about 26 watts and uh, 3.1 gigahertz at about 74 degrees. So in order to reduce the temperature of the CPU, it will throttle down to about 2 to 1.8 gigahertz and 13 watts. So that's actually giving it a chance to be able to prevent overheating of the surface of the laptop. So it will do this multiple times based on your ambient temperature and other factors that may affect uh, the temperature of the laptop. The next profile we'll test is the quiet profile. So with this quiet profile, it's trying to keep the fan speed at a minimum. So it's, uh, it'll, it'll sacrifice a bit of heat temperature, but because the fans are trying to run as quiet as possible, it will also run the lowest possible frequency that it can get away with, which in this case is about 1.8 to 1.9 gigahertz at about 13 watts of uh, power usage. This gives you an, an average temperature of about 63 degrees, which isn't too bad, but uh, if you're running any heavy applications like games or 3D software, you may run into a bit of trouble, especially in terms of uh, system performance. The final one we'll test is um, the ultra performance mode. And uh, with this one, as I said earlier, it tries to ramp up the fans and the clock speeds and the power usage 
to a level that uh, gives you maximum performance. So here we can see we're running again at about 63 watts and 3.9 gigahertz. The temperatures rise to about 96 degrees uh, before throttling down like the previous one. Uh, to a level of about 45 watts, uh, 3.5 gigahertz, and uh, about 85, 86 degrees on the CPU. Here we can observe the Cinebench scores for each thermal management profile. As stated earlier, the optimized and ultra-performance uh, profiles actually have more or less the maximum power usage that is uh, capable for the, for the CPU and the chipset. So that's why they tend to see the highest scores. Whereas the cool and the quiet profile tend to lean towards thermal management and fan noise management, which in turn causes them to limit the clock speeds of the CPU while running such a test so you can actually observe significantly lower performance on the Cinebench score um, while running those two profiles. Based on the Cinebench scores, one would believe there is no significant advantage to running ultra performance mode over optimized mode. However, in a separate video, I will explain how the Ultra Performance Mode can be used to increase your laptop's gaming performance, so do stay tuned for that. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.